And as always, we'll begin by taking a long, slow, deep breath, breathing in the breath of God and invoking the light, taking as much air as you can hold, and the exhale is just a long, low, slow sigh of God's breath, letting go, letting go and letting God, allowing God to flow through you, to come into your being, into your awareness, into your consciousness. And with eight, begin relaxing your legs. Start with your feet. Let your feet relax. Let your ankles relax. Relax up to your knees, allowing the calves to relax. Just tell the muscles to relax, release, and let go. If you find any tension or tightness anywhere, just breathe and let go. And allow your body to relax. Relax up your thighs all the way up to your hips and as your legs relax just let them go let them be almost like you're setting them aside all together let them be in peace seven same thing with your arms let your fingers relax your palms your wrists relax up to your elbows and relax up to your shoulders and let your shoulders relax let it go of any burdens cares worries just let your shoulders relax Almost like you're setting them aside altogether. Almost like you're setting your body aside altogether. Let it relax and be in peace. And six, begin relaxing your back. Start with the small of your back. Begin working your way up, allowing all the muscles of your back to relax and let go. Letting your abdomen relax. Let your solar plexus relax. Letting go of any tightness there. And let your chest relax. Let your chest open up to the breath of God and the light and let it relax. Let your neck relax. Relax your head. Relaxing all the muscles of your scalp, your forehead, all the muscles around your eyes, your cheeks, your jaw, entire body just beginning to settle down and get more and more relaxed and peaceful. And of course you'll be able to hear all sounds, all noises, feeling anything that's going on around you. And yet nothing bothering you or disturbing you in any way as you relax because you know and understand that all sounds, all experiences are but expressions of the Creator. So all sounds and experiences facilitate and encourage you in your own experience and expression of the Creator. And so you use all sounds to carry you deeper into your own knowingness, into your own awareness, into your own channelship. And any sounds that are not important to you just fade off from your awareness and allow you to remain on focus and on purpose. So take another especially long, slow, deep breath, breathing in that breath of God and the light. Take as much air as you can hold. Exhale, long, low, slow sigh of God's breath, letting go. Just letting go. And you'll be breathing continuously, deep, easy, non-stop, continuous flow of breath. Breathing the breath of God and letting go, relaxing in that light and that love. And five, legs are relaxing more and more, gradually letting go further and further with each moment, with each breath, more and more relaxed and peaceful. Almost like you're setting them aside altogether, let them be in peace. And four, same thing with your arms, all the muscles of your arms and your shoulders, gradually letting go further and further, more and more relaxed and peaceful. And three, all the muscles of your back, gradually letting go, little by little, more and more relaxed and peaceful. Abdomen relaxing still more even now, solar plexus, chest, letting go, relaxing. Neck relaxing even more with each breath. 
in your head. Entire body settling down further and further, more and more relaxed and peaceful. And every time I mention the word relax, it simply means that all the unnecessary movements of your body and your mind can stop and you can be totally and completely relaxed mentally and physically and this is so. And it's accepting the relaxation, it's the allowance of God's energy, God's love, God's wisdom to flow through you freely. From this point on, either during this session or at any time in your life when you feel the need or desire to relax and go to deeper levels of consciousness and awareness, connecting with your own inner source, your inner knowing, your inner wisdom, your higher self, your divine guidance, God, all you ever need to do is to take a long, slow, deep breath, invoking that light, take as much air as you can hold, and as you exhale, mentally count from eight to zero yourself telling yourself to relax totally, completely, mentally and physically and actually feeling yourself going down through the levels of consciousness and awareness moving closer and closer to your own inner knowing your inner light your inner wisdom your inner Christ so that as you reach to your entire body is relaxed totally, completely at peace with one and feel the oneness with the light within and without oneness with the breath oneness with the creator creation oneness between source and self oneness between you and the universe and that wonderment and wonderfulness of it all And zero is just deep inner peace, calm, contentment. I am. It feels so good to just totally relax and be in your God presence, your I am presence. We'll take a moment now to invoke the energies that we work with, calling in your own master teachers your highest guidance, your guardian angels, the archangels. And I personally would like to invoke the energies of Archangel Michael, Melchizedek, Master Jesus, and beings of the White Brotherhood, All Lords, Masters of Light, who would be of assistance to us now, and giving them permission, if you will, to work with our energies, however, is in our best and highest interest, for this is for our benefit, and we desire it, and it's for the good and blessings of all, and so be it. And you know that you are divinely guided and protected always and in all ways, so you can just trust and let go. Let go and trust. knowing that you'll have full memory, full recall of all that you experience and also memory and recall of all the suggestions I might use with you so that you can utilize these on your own or share with others however is most beneficial in the moment. Also knowing that you can just trust and let go because your higher self, your guidance will maintain you as requested now to keep you at that level of consciousness where you will receive the most benefit at each moment. So just breathe and trust. Let go and trust. And we're going to begin working with the light, focusing the light. And be aware also, as you have given your guidance permission to work with you at every, any and all levels, be aware of them working with you as well. So begin bringing in a beam of golden Christ light. Coming into the center of this room, in the heart of the Creator. It's that beam of the love of God. Just allow it in, allow it to be an expanding, filling up this room. We're going to begin working with that light, allowing it to focus. 
focus at first over your arms and your legs. Just move it back and forth, up and down your arms and legs from your fingertips to your shoulders, from your toes to your hips, and allow the light to begin penetrating your skin, the skin glowing warm in the light, then the muscles relaxing in the light, the nerves, the tendons. Imagine reach for it all the way through your bones. Every cell opening up to the golden light of illumination. Every cell, every consciousness knows the meaning and the healing energy of that light. It's being refreshed, revitalized. Every cell rejoicing in the light. Being rejuvenated. And if you come across any areas of resistance to that light, any areas of darkness, just breathe the light through and allow it to cleanse, to clear to heal, to energize. Open up as you're being fine-tuned with that light. Just allow yourself your own awareness and allow the light to expand through every cell of your being. Allow the light to begin entering to your stomach area coming in like a golden ball of light, touching every organ, every system, every cell in the lower part of your body. You can feel the organs responding as they're being healed, soothed, calmed, refreshed. What I'd like you to do now is to project your intelligence in with that light going within your body, to listen to your body, to see what your organs, your s tissues would have you to know. So project first into your liver. Allow yourself to flow into the liver with the light, projecting your intelligence in with the light. And allow yourself to experience your liver. How does it feel? Notice and observe if, if it's relaxed or tense. And just breathe and let it relax. Becoming very aware as you focus the light through if there are any areas of, of darkness there. Has there been any resentment or anger stored in your liver? Allow that awareness to come up for you. Perhaps memories will be there. become aware of whatever it is that your liver would have you to know now. And perhaps you'll also find your guidance in there with you. And I'll be sort of asking questions to help guide you through your experiences. Know that the answers to the questions may come in the form of visions or feelings or words or just a knowingness. Just trust the impressions however they're coming through. Always trust your first impression and allow the impressions to flow. There's that law asking you shall receive, so allow the answers to flow into your awareness. And fill your liver with light now. Allow any anger or resentment that's been there to be released with that light, to be transmuted. As that golden light has the transmuting quality of the Creator, it steps up all lower vibrations and moves them up into the higher levels of health, vitality, joy. Love is the honest appreciation. So love your liver. Thanking your liver for its service to you. Move with the lie, project to the uh, gallbladder, and go through the same process there. See what your gallbladder would have you to know. What has been stored in the tissues there? How does your gallbladder feel? What is important for you to know there now? Just be asked and allow the answers to flow in for you. And breathe the light through, allow it to cleanse, to clear. to further open up the channels for God's love to manifest through you in this body.
and moving to the stomach, project into the stomach with your light. Becoming aware of whether the walls of the stomach are tense or relaxed. How does your stomach feel? Allow that awareness to come forward in your consciousness. your stomach have you to know? What does it think of the diet that you have been providing it with? Allow an awareness of those foods that have been most disruptive to your bodily functions to come up in your awareness now. Becoming aware of those foods or combinations that have been detrimental to your being so that you may become aware now. Let your body tell you of the effects that your diet has been having on you. And allow an awareness of those foods that are, that are most beneficial to your system, that create harmony and balance and healing your unique system. Allow yourself to be shown or to know those foods that are most beneficial to you. Get the feel of their vibrations. Get the feel of what resonates with your body to create health, vitality, and enthusiasm. Exuberance. Allow the light to correct any imbalances in your digestive system. Just breathe the light through. Allow it to cleanse, to heal, to balance. Thanking your stomach for its service to you. And take a very deep breath. You're going to <laughs> take a wonderful trip through your small intestines. Very deep breath and allow yourself to move with that light through your entire small intestines. And as you go through your intestines, you're cleansing and clearing any accumulated debris of negativity that's been stored anywhere, any blockage. Allow yourself as you move to become aware of anything your intestines would have you to know. Allow yourself to experience them. Moving that light through them. Allowing yourself to love your organs, your body, yourself, in this fashion. All the way down to the large intestines, the colon. Become aware of what your colon is like. How has it been feeling? Check the walls of your colon. How much is embedded in the walls? Where are the blockages? What does this mean to you? What do the areas of blockage represent for you emotionally? What is the old stuff you've been holding on to, mentally or emotionally, intellectually, that is played out by your colon? Allow your colon to show you, to teach you what is important for you to know there now. What would it have you to know? Open up and trust and allow the innate wisdom of the body to become manifest to you. And 
breathe the light through and allow it to cleanse and to clear as you joyfully now release everything that no longer serves your highest purpose. Joyfully letting go of everything you no longer need. And with the light, scan your other organs. You've thanked your colon for its service to you. Performs a wonderful function. And scan your other organs. See if there are any other organs calling for your attention, calling for your light, calling for more light and healing. See what they would have you to know. Check the kidneys, the bladder. Give them all your love and your light. Allow them to become cleansed balanced and harmonized by the flow of the Creator's light through you. Allow any memories that have been stored in your cells, your organs, your tissues to come up in your awareness however is most beneficial for you. Allow the cleansing, the clearing. Allow the enlightenment Taking all the organs in your lower abdominal cavity. Let them all be filled with light now, completing. And take a deep breath and move up to your lungs. Let your lungs open up to the Creator's light, to the breath of God. And allow that light to cleanse and to clear any accumulated debris of toxins, of pollution, of smoke within your lungs. Becoming aware of any areas of your lungs that need more light, where there is resistance, where there is accumulated debris. And perhaps you'll even find yourself in sometimes some of the organs are in these places, like a tiny diver, and perhaps be given tools to use to cleanse or to clear any arteries or, or any of the um, cellular structures that need cleansing. Just allow the awareness just to be there. Let yourself have the experience there. Becoming aware of anywhere that you have shut down the flow of light. Just breathe the light through and allow it to cleanse and to clear. you know that you are one with the universe and one with this planet as you allow the Creator's light, God's breath to expand in you you are also aware of the expansion of God's breath and light to the universe and to this planet as you allow the pollution and toxins to be cleansed within you, you are also allowing the cleansing toxins and pollutants in the air of this planet. Allow Mother Earth to cleanse as you do in the Creator's light. Become aware of the interrelatedness of your breathing and the breath of God and the winds of the planet. Imaginations, you can feel it, sense it, or know it. As there is cleansing, and allow the light to continue expanding into your heart. And the heart's always been that symbol of love, and as it enters there, let it be pink light, pink with the gold, pink for divine love. And perhaps you'll even be aware as the light 
fills up your heart, then there's a spontaneous combustion that begins taking place in your heart as your light, the light combines with your own inner light. Light is radiating, radiating. And as you breathe, you're letting go of every excuse that you've ever had for not loving yourself or anybody else. As you let your heart open up to all the love that you are. Let yourself open up to all of God's love. And you know in your heart that divine love is the truth of your being. And the more you love yourself, the more you allow others to experience love. So you love yourself completely, totally, unconditionally, without judgment, as you love others. Allow the threefold flame to become very prominent in your heart. Allow Christ's love, God's love, the Holy Spirit presence in your heart. Light is radiating out, pulsing, moving through your bloodstream, being carried to every organ, every system, and every cell. You're being filled with that incredible light of divine love. Just breathe and allow that increase of the circulation. As you come across any areas of blockage in the circulation, just breathe the light through and allow it to clear, allow it to cleanse as you're experiencing that free flow of love to you and through you and as you. And you are a radiating center of light and love. And everyone who comes in contact with you in any fashion is being touched at the higher levels, touched in their hearts, and responding to that love and light that emanates so freely to you and through you now. You are receiving an unlimited supply. So if you've had any fear of lack, any varieties of illusion about lack. Let those be released now. For any sense of lack was only illusion, false illusion. For all the abundance, love, wisdom of the universe of God flows to you and through you freely now and you allow yourself to receive it for you are receiving an unlimited supply. And this is opening up the channels of your unlimited potentials right now. And the light is also now flowing in through the top of your head, flowing in through your crown chakra, flowing down your spine, all the way down your tailbone. The light reaches your tailbone. Your entire spine lights up almost like a light bulb. And so, so you're being aligned by the light, being brought into perfect alignment with your own higher self, Christ consciousness, universal flow. The light continues radiating through each of your chakras, opening them up, cleansing them, balancing them. Each of the energy centers of your body, you're aware of them opening up as there's no need to damn the Creator's light anywhere. Allow them to open up. Aware of each one opening up in the light. The light continues radiating 
radiating out through every nerve in your body. You can actually feel the nerves responding as they're being healed, soothed, calm, refreshed, responding to the higher energies. And there is a prayer in this, a request. Lord, let me be an instrument of thy peace, of thy power, of thy love, of thy light, of thy truth, of thy wisdom. Let me be fine-tuned now as that instrument of divine plan and purpose, so that I may function effectively and efficiently here now on earth. So that I may allow divine right action to manifest through me. Feel your circuitry being opened up as every nerve is responding, being fine-tuned, resonating. So this is a very fine-tuned system of your human body, which can respond to the transmissions of higher frequency, to the subtle energies, and you can use this as your own tuning fork to know what things resonate with your body to bring joy, harmony to yourself and others. Allow your awareness to be fine-tuned. As you allow your circuitry of re receiving the transmissions of higher consciousness be opened up. As the light is entering through the top of your head, all your mental, physical, emotional, and psychological factors are being balanced and harmonized. And just pass the light across your brain and let it relax, right and left sides. And as you do this, you're balancing the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself with the masculine and feminine aspects of Source. Allow the light to continue radiating through your mind your brain, filling up all your brain cells to allow the enlightenment. And as the light comes across any lower vibratory thought patterns of worry, of fear, of doubt, of guilt, just breathe and allow that to be cleansed and cleared. Now allow those thoughts to be stepped up and transmuted into the thoughts of divine mind. To know the truth of your being. And breathe, release all thoughts and concepts and memories of how you could, should, or would be better than what you are. All judgments about how anything could, could should, or would be better. And any anger that you've ever felt at yourself or anybody else for all the things they could have, should have, and would have done if only. guilt and all anger now. Breathe and let it go. And allow the light to continue radiating through your mind, opening up new channels of consciousness and awareness. Allowing the memory banks to be opened up for you as well. Breathe the light through and let the light work. The light continues radiating around, radiating around to your forehead, penetrating the frontal areas of your brain. And you're opening up the channels of higher consciousness located there, opening up your perceptions of subtle energies opening up your intuitive faculties, opening up your psychic awareness, as the light is entering there, allow it to focus through to between the pituitary and the pineal gland. And allow 
With each breath now, that channel between the pituitary and pineal gland become more and more open. And you can feel the glands responding as they're being activated. And this is opening up the channels for the transmissions of divine will to be made known for you. Feel them resonating in your mind, in your head. Feel the glands responding. And as you do this, you're also reactivating your regenerative capacities ability to generate new cells of higher consciousness to generate your light body. Just breathe and let the light work. And also feel it radiating down to your thymus gland. You feel it responding as well now. As that is being activated, you allow yourself to ex re-experience now the enthusiasm with which you came to be here now. Allow yourself to reclaim the enthusiasm for being present on this planet at this time. remembering why you have chosen this. And experience your entire glandular system responding. It's being activated. Feel the life force flowing freely. function most effectively, most efficiently in this physical apparatus with full life vitality. Light continues radiating around your eyes, releasing any tension around your eyes, and bathing your eyes in light. And your vision is improving at all levels even now, giving you clarity of vision see clearly the beauty, the wonderment of all of creation. So you can see clearly God in expression, in multivarious aspects, giving you clairvoyancy, if you will. Light continues radiating around your ears, opening up the channels of receiving located there. Just breathe light through. Allow your receiving to open up. Opening up all your channels of receiving. New clarity of hearing. Also clear audience, if you will. So you can hear now the truths of your being. And divine guidance flows through your consciousness. Just trust it, accept it, know it, and be it now. Light continues radiating down around your jaws, releasing any tension that's been stored there. through your teeth, healing your gums, healing your teeth, to light your smile, to light the smiles of others as you're about your father's work. Light continues radiating around your throat. Let your throat open up to the Creator's light to allow 
yourself to express that light freely and fully as you are that perfect expression of the love and light that flows so freely to you and through you now. tissue. You can allow yourself to experience the purity and perfection in the Creator's life. Allow yourself to experience yourself as a pure being of light. Experiencing yourself as a beautiful God being. Know how you are here out of your great love. Know how greatly you are loved. going up a beautiful crystal staircase from this point which will lead us up to meet your highest divine guidance to meet those beings who are most desirous to work with you at this time the highest master guidance that is available to you at this time but before we do this I'd like you to take a few moments clearly define in your own mind what it is you wish to know and experience, stating your purpose very clearly, requesting the assistance of your teachers, your guides, your angels, perhaps uttering some silent prayers, I'll be quiet for a time to allow you to complete this. Completing, take a deep breath as you're ready to move on in the light. Moving into higher awarenesses with the light. Being thankful for this divine opportunity. Okay, we're going to go up that beautiful crystal staircase. It's like a stairway to heaven. Each step is a different color and corresponds with the different chakras as we go up. Each chakra will be being further cleansed, balanced, harmonized, aligned as we go up. Right now, take the first step up and the colored step is beautiful ruby red. Breathe in that red light and energy. Feel your body responding, especially your root chakra. It's that energy of enthusiasm, vitality. So feel that in your own being. That red light, the root chakra, allows you to be a co-creator with God here, to create here as God. chakra must be open for you to bring the higher consciousness divine will into the physical manifestation here on earth as we go up the stairs perhaps you'll become aware of different messages 
different guidance or guides, teachers on each step. Perhaps you'll be presented with different gifts on each step. Allow yourself your experience on each of these steps as we go up, as you feel your vibrations increasing. When we get to the top of the stairs, your vibrations will have increased sufficiently for you to step up onto the platform at the top and meet those guys. It'll be most beneficial for you to know now. Let's open up all your channels on the way up so that you may be that clear and perfect channel for God. Experience and know whatever else is there for you on that step and then take a deep breath and move up to the next step. The step is like a glowing sunset orange. Breathe in that orange light and energy. Experience it. Feel your splenic chakra responding, your organs responding. You can appreciate yourself for accepting physical form here on this step. Loving your body as much as God loves the earth. The orange also represents the nourishment of your body by Mother Earth. Breathe the Mother Earth's vitalities and allow your body to be nourished in that orange light. And you know how valuable you are as an individual expression here. Know your self-worth. Know how greatly you are appreciated for being here now. Know and experience whatever else is there for you in the orange light and receive any gifts that are there for you. Take a deep breath, move up. Coming into higher vibrations with golden yellow light. Feel your solar plexus responding. Opening up to that golden light of illumination. The gold light represents wisdom and intelligence. And your connection with infinite intelligence is substantial enough that you can always trust your gut feeling and act on it however is necessary. But there's a blending there of personal will with divine will that allows divine right action to manifest through you. And in that golden light of illumination, there is a release of all fears may have been stored there. Allow your trust, that infinite wisdom, to expand through your being. Trusting the wisdom of your body, trusting the wisdom of the Creator and all of creation. Know and experience whatever else is there for you on that step. Receive any gifts. Take a deep breath, move up to the next step. This step is like emerald green ray. 
beautiful green healing light. Breathe it in, breathe it through every cell. Fill yourself up with the healing green light. Especially feel your heart responding as emotions are being healed at every level. green represents life. You feel yourself being aligned with life principle. Aligned with nature, Mother Earth. You can feel the joy of living as you breathe that breath of life with the green light. And the green represents abundance. You have that appreciation of the abundance of nature, the abundance of joy, of life, the abundance that is yours. And you allow yourself to open up to all the abundance that is yours, where the more you receive, the more you can share, the more you can give. Allow yourself to receive greatly because this is what allows you to share greatly with others. And all the love, all the healing, all the abundance is yours to share from your heart. And as you breathe, you're letting go of every excuse that you've ever had for shutting down that flow of love and abundance to you and through you. Know and experience whatever else is there for you in the green light. Receive any gifts there. And when you are ready, take a deep breath, move up to the next step. The step is beautiful sapphire blue, breathe in that clear blue light. As you're experiencing the multivarious rays of the Creator. And the blue represents power. So you're claiming your God self power with your breath. Know how powerful you are as a being of God, as an unlimited being of light. Know that you have access to the unlimited power of God at every moment. Feel that power through every cell. Know your unlimited power. And the blue represents peace. Feel the deep peace, the peace that passes understanding. Peace that allows you to be peaceful in every circumstance and yet to stand in your power. And the blue represents truth. And you express that power with truth in righteousness. And allow the power to come through you Releasing now as you allow your throat to open up further 
any fear you've ever had of misuse or abuse of that power, along with any memories, any judgments of that misuse. experience whatever else might be there for you on that blue step. Very high vibration. Receive your gifts there. You each are now also gifted with a blue sword of truth. Which you can utilize to cut through the negativities, the illusions. Know the power of truth. And let there be peace on earth. No one experience whatever else might be there. And take a deep breath, move up to the next step. The step is like a deep, dark, purplish blue indigo. Steps like a beautiful lapis stone, very high spiritual vibration there. Breathe in that energy, feel the intensity. Feel the third eye responding. This is being opened up. You're being opened up to your own visions of divine plan and purpose. opening up your perceptions of God's energies. And feel the intensity of your purpose. Feel every cell of your being being aligned with your purpose with your highest spiritual intent with your vision of divine plan your unique part of God's purpose experience whatever else might be there for you on that step appreciating your uniqueness receiving any gifts then move all the way up onto the last step the step is like a beautiful amethyst stone breathe a clear purple purple represents protection and purification Know that you are divinely guided and protected always and always. And purple is the highest vibration within this dimension. Feel your crown chakra responding as you're being opened up to your divine guidance. So you desire to meet your higher teachers. Allow that to be opened up now. And purple represents, the violet represents unconditional love. So as you breathe, allow yourself to experience the violet transmuting flame. The flame which Saint Germain works with. The flame that transmutes all judgments into joy. All judgments of yourself or others, within or without. Allow those all to be stepped up into the high joy vibration of your being now. Experiencing for yourself now the joy of your own I am presence. I 
I positively forgive everyone and everything that could possibly need forgiveness, past, present, or future. I am free, and they are all free also. All things are healed, cleared, and resolved between us, now and forever. And most of all, I love and forgive myself, totally, completely, unconditionally, without judgment, now and forevermore. I even forgive myself for ever believing that I've ever done anything for which I need to forgive myself. And I forgive myself for choosing pain and fear instead of love and joy. And take a deep breath and let it all go. And bring up an image of Mother Earth, the planet, Affirm your unconditional love and acceptance of every single entity on the planet. Unconditional forgiveness for every single entity on this planet. Transmuting all judgments on this planet into joy. Transmuting all fear and pain to joy and love. planet is now evolving into light, receiving Christ Consciousness. moving up in universal vibrations of love now. So let all the scenes dissolve into that beautiful violet light. And the joy of it all. Know the joy and glory of divine plan and purpose. Know the joy and glory of God. And take a deep breath. As your vibrations have been raised sufficiently now for you to step up onto the platform at the top of the stairs. You're surrounded by brilliant light as all the colors have combined into that one white light. You can allow yourself to experience yourself as a pure being of light there. Experiencing your own higher self. And take a very deep breath, breathing in that light, and allow yourself to enter further into your experience in that light. As you exhale, perhaps mentally count from 8 to 0. You must relax now. Allow yourself to become accustomed to that vibration there and enter into that experience fully. As you're becoming more and more accustomed to that light, you can begin looking around you to see who is coming to join you in that light. What is the presence like there? How do you feel? your highest guidance. Meeting now those beings who would be of assistance to you now. the recognition, the 
acknowledgement. Allow the heart connection. Feel the love. Perhaps they'll introduce themselves to you. you embrace allow the communication to be full and free what would they have you to know now of awareness and allow them to further open up your channels for receiving the knowledge, the understandings and the wisdom. their intent. Know that ask and you shall receive allow the answers to flow in and always trust your first impressions ask what you would desire to know what they would have you to know about your channelship. Do they have advice for you on opening up your channelship more fully? Perhaps they can show you that time or place that might help you better understand your present life experience and purpose. Without any memories to come forward, what would they have you to know? for you to know about your purpose and being on this particular planet at this time. What are the visions and understandings that they would share with you now?
breathe and allow the information, the understandings to flow freely. Allow it to be integrated fully into your awareness and into your being. else important that they would have you to know now. Receive their gifts, their blessings, their love. them and yourself for this experience. Your higher self is making all adjustments that are necessary for you. This is about time for you to return to full awakening awareness, external awareness. Know that much more will be revealed to you as this will, awareness will continue to expand. You'll receive much more information coming to your conscious level of understanding, either through you returning to these levels at any moment, which you can do easily merely by taking a long, slow, deep breath and invoking the light of God, love, the breath. And as you exhale, perhaps mentally counting from 8 to 0. Knowing that each and every time you do this, you'll go deeper, easier, and receive more and more benefit each and every time. Know that you'll also be receiving information in your dreams, which you'll find yourself remembering more and more of as you receive the awarenesses of what you're doing at the other levels and in your sleep. giving guidance permission to work with you in your sleep as well, however is most beneficial for yourself and others. And also knowing that you'll, you can trust the impressions that come to you any time of day or night, however they're coming through. Awareness is expanding. Now you'll be much, much more aware because you're aligning with your higher self, your guidance. You're aware of those things that are beneficial to you. You find yourself being automatically drawn to and attracted to those things that are in your best and highest interest. You find yourself desiring those foods, those books, those opportunities, those relationships, those situations. facilitate your experience of the highest joy, and move you into alignment with divine purpose, and conversely you'll be much much more aware of those things that are detrimental to your being in any way, that lower your vibrations, bring you down, be they uh, thoughts, experiences, 
experiences, situations, foods, substances. You'll find it very easy now to begin eliminating those things that are detrimental to you in any fashion. Eliminating from your consciousness, your affairs, your body, your life, your diet. However, is most beneficial for you, easily, normally, and naturally, letting go of everything that no longer serves your highest purpose, your highest spiritual intent. Letting go of everything that is not of the highest light and the highest love. Giving thanks to our guidance, those presences who work with us. We thanks and glory to God. Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Savayot. Glory, 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 Lord God of hosts. We are in your eternal service. We thank you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. awakening consciousness at the count of five. Bring back with you full memory, full recall of all that you've experienced and all the energies, all the awarenesses. One, bring back, having memory of the suggestions I've used with you as well, so you can utilize these on your own or share them with others, however is most beneficial. Two, Coming up, the energy increasing, circulation increasing. Very, very aware that you're a powerful, unlimited being of light, focusing through this physical apparatus on purpose. Reactivating your physical apparatus now. Circulation increasing. Being the stretch and move. Powerful being of light manifesting here on earth in the omnipresence, the eternal now. Three, coming up in awareness. Knowing that at this moment you have everything you need to accomplish all your goals, your mission, your purpose, all your true heart's desires, and nothing can stand in your way. Dear Lord, in this day, thine will be done through me. On earth as it is in heaven. Four and five. Welcome back. Eyes opening, mind coming very clear. Lord, present here.